Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam and I'd like to welcome you to another Eye Clarity podcast. So today I'm going to share a presentation I did recently at the Vision Sanctuary Retreat on light and color therapy, how to do it, what's the science behind it, and much more. So enjoy the show. When light contacts the body's energy field, it stimulates something called the pineal gland which is the master gland of the body, and the pineal entrains the pituitary, the thyroid, the thymus, the pancreas, the gonads, and the adrenals to step up, wake up. Light also stimulates the mitochondria. This is the red light therapy, but all the visible colors stimulate the mitochondria. A Dr. Ibrahim, Associate Professor of Anesthesiology at the University of Arizona, has found that giving patients green light has reduced their migraines and fibromyalgia. So light helps us with physical movement, physiological function, seeing. And the pupils are the gatekeeper that allow light into our body. Light's interaction with our eyes is a two-way street. The better we take in the light, the more we emanate or radiate the light out. And this becomes our creative expression, our self-expression, and our health. Our savings bank account is the energy field. And when we start seeing holes or depressions in the energy field, eventually that's going to affect our physical health. Here I am at the Esalen Institute and I'm working with a machine called a GDV camera. This is a Russian camera that measures energy fields and chakras. And here I'm measuring somebody's photonic energy as part of a research study doing color therapy. So in the GDV camera, you put your fingertip on the camera lens and a small electrical charge runs across that camera lens and it creates a photonic uh, image like that. That's a fingertip uh, reading. And so then what happens is the GDV uh, software program converts the fingertip to a whole body systemic energy field. So we've got a man here on the left. He's got a holes in the left side of his energy field, both in both the physical and the emotional. Here it, it's really gone. He's got a spike in the, th- in the thyroid throat area. So the GDV camera measures energy fields, chakras, and acupuncture meridians. So in the Esalen color therapy study I did, I conducted using 20 subjects. These were students of mine who were taking the month-long legacy program. And I treated them with the rainbow color therapy every day. The treatment I used involved that each person had to do the rainbow color therapy twice a day for seven days. And the length of the color therapy session sessions were as follows. Each subject looked through each of the colors for two minutes And the colors I used were red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and magenta. They did a morning and an evening session. Initially, I measured each person's energy field, acupuncture meridians, and chakras. And on day eight, I remeasured the subjects. The results of the study show that uh, overall people increased their energy field illumination and area and chakra alignment by about 80%. So here's a subject on the left before and the subject after. So you can see before all the dissonance, these are trauma patterns, and this is after. So you can see it's a little more coherent. This is a a person we did, I'll show you, uh, let's see, this was him before and this was him after. So you can see how robust the energy fields 
are after doing the color therapy. Color therapy feeds the energy fields. This was a person's chakra before, so the chakras, we look at the size and we look at the alignment, and this is after. You see how much larger the, the chakras are, and they're all, again, before and after, before and after. So this is what color therapy can do to your chakras and your energy fields. Now this is the pupil and light enters the pupil. This is the iris. This is the muscle that controls the pupil. And the pupil is, is influenced by our nervous system. When we're under stress, the pupil stays dilated. It can't constrict. So whenever we see somebody with dilated pupils, it means they are in a stress response and their peripheral vision is very narrow. That's kind of the over evaluating tens of thousands of people. Um, this is what I see with the pupil response and how it affects our light. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to do something called a rainbow color practice. And we're going to pretend like you're in a color dome and you're going to look at each color. I'm going to be projecting it from the computer. And um, so we're going to be bathing your eyes and also bathing the body. Now, when we use colors, there are certain colors that we might not like. <clears throat> and so what we want to begin to do is dissolve the habitual triggers and we want to be able to to attract a broader range of life spectrum experiences, and we can do that through the color therapy. We then can overcome the emotions and sensations that keep us locked down, and we can then experience more freedom in our awareness and vision. There are psychologists who use color therapy in this way, where they're actually helping a person desensitize the emotions around um, the colors that they don't like. So I'm going to be guiding us in this color therapy session and I'm going to encourage you if there's a color you don't like, stay with it. You can always close your eyes if you need to, um, but as you work with color therapy every day, over time the colors that you don't like will, will become comfortable and that will then um, allow you to have a broader band experience in your vision and in your health. Now, some of the ways we do rainbow color therapy is that you can work with each eye separately. This is one of the prescriptions. Day one, you patch the left eye and do the color therapy. Day two, you patch the right eye. Day three, you do both eyes and then you start over with day one. And I like to do a 30 day challenge with the rainbow color therapy because this is a way that you can really desensitize the colors you don't like and expand the colors you do like. And we're gonna add some, some sound to this as well, which can be very beneficial. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the Eye Clarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.